today we are going to be installing the Graco Snug Ride Snug Lock 35. This is the LX version. There's um, the regular version and the True Shield version. Um, the base is all installed pretty much the same. So this will give you an idea of that. Um, they are all the versions that are the rethread harness, not the non-rethread harness. All right, so I'm going to take my carrier out with my red button back here, and I'm going to look at my base. Now, there are two options to install this base. Because it is snug lock, seat belt might be easier, okay? That is something to keep in mind, but there is the latch option. So we're going to start with the latch option. Um, the first things I want to point out are this red button. So, um, I think the non alex version comes with a gray button right here, but it does the same thing out your recline foot so you're going to want to find your level right here it shows on the side what it needs to look like zero plus months needs to be with the blue um thing as far back as possible so this seat side is going to be against my seat back three plus months can be over here if you get a good install on the zero plus months and your kid is not fussy about laying back that far when they get to three plus months and have um neck and torso control you don't need to change it okay so it is not a hard, um, it is not a rule. It's just at three plus months, if your kid's fussy and wants to sit up more, you can. Also, if they, uh, and if you're having some trouble with them, like not liking the infant seat, uh, that's something you can definitely try before changing them to a convertible if you really like the use of the infant seat. So I have it popped all the way out and it is not in the right recline for me. So I'm gonna pop it in one, still not right. So pop it in again. And that puts my car seat at the recline that I want, okay? So, I figured that out. Make sure there's not too much overhang. This allows 20%, no more. Um, again, not marked. A lot of these seats don't mark it. Uh, definitely a downside, but uh, you, as you can see, there's definitely, I mean, it's like maybe a quarter of an inch, half an inch hanging off, which is nowhere near 20%. I'm gonna open up my door right here and I'm gonna get my latch out. Here's my latch connectors. Make sure that they are not twisted underneath this loop. They probably are gonna fold. That's supposed to happen. You do not wanna take this off because this is what keeps your latch, latch connectors with your seat. So make sure that your stapler is facing up. You're gonna put it through the seat belt holes. One, two, down through. All right. You're also going to lift up your snug lock arm. Okay, because this seat, belt, seat tells you to put the snug lock arm over the latch. So, oops, let's sit down. <sighs> All right, flip it over and make sure that the fat side is up. Okay, then you're gonna tighten it. Okay, and if you can't get it tight enough, you can pull up through the hole on an infant seat. That is um, a very easy thing to do. Okay, pull up, tighten it. All right. Get it up above these like little um, notches right there. That's where it's supposed to lay. And then and it says rear facing latch strap right here. So that's pretty simple. Um, and then you close your snug lock arm. Okay, just store the extra of this down. I would put it back down through the hole so the excess is just out of your way. All right, side to side, front to back. That is the latch install of the seat. Um, I would not over tighten the latch before you put the snug lock arm down because this is a lock locking mechanism. So if you over tighten, you may not be able to get it closed. All right, so to uninstall, I open my snug lock arm. I push my latch adapters out um, to store your latch. You're just gonna pull it up through. See, out and put it in here. You can also keep your instruction manual in there. Um, super handy, I love that um, aspect of seats where they have a place to keep your instruction manual. So you always have it with you. If you ever have a question, if you're putting in a car you're not used to, you can always check your manual. All right, seat belt. We're going to put it up through here, put it across these little like notches here and through here. And then we're gonna tighten it and put our snug lock down, arm down. Again, I wouldn't over tighten it because it, you're not gonna be able to get your snug lock arm um, down across it. The snug lock arm is a lock off. Okay, it is not a tensioning um, belt, so you are not locking the seat belt. Okay, so the lap and shoulder belt needs to be up here, right there, and then we're going to pull it, and then you're going to lock it. All right, lock it, 
no twists or turns, and we're not locking up here. Side to side, front to back, check at the belt path, not up here. Again, we have our 20%, or less than 20%, we have our um, level being at the right place for zero plus months. I'm doing zero plus month install, okay? So where my seatbelt is, it kind of pulls us down a little bit, but the lap belt is still up where it needs to be. Again, this is a lock off, so I did not lock my seatbelt. Okay, to undo, you're gonna take it out, put your snug lock arm down to store your base. Okay, um, now to do our baseless install. This does have the American belt path, which is right here. I'm gonna put this down here. It can be in any locked position when moving, so that means up here, oh, here, you have to wait for it to lock into place before you can push the button again. Here or down here, okay? Um, this one I would recommend against in the car um, because it does create more space between the back of the, the seat back and the front seat, and this cannot brace against the seat, same as the back of the seat. So I do like that Graco puts this um, stopping point as well. That's kind of handy. Um, you can get the baby in and out without having to put it all the way down especially if you have it um, sitting in the car. But if you have them sitting on the seat, you're gonna want, or sitting on, let's see, sitting on the ground to get baby out, you're, go, or you're gonna wanna put this down as a leveling to keep the um, seat in the right place. All right, so I'm going to put this here so you can see everything you need to see. On both sides, it has this red line. It also shows you how to do your baseless install right here on the side. Make sure you read your manual all the way through. But this is the Spanish side. I have the English side on my side. And you're going to make sure that the line is level with the ground before you root your seatbelt. You're going to put your lap belt only through this hook and this hook. Lap belt only. Okay. And then you're going to buckle. And then you're going to tighten. And make sure your level stays level. And then you're going to lock it. Now my seatbelt locks up here. If your seatbelt locks at the latch plate, <coughs> excuse me, then you're just gonna make sure that this is locked and you don't need to worry about the shoulder belt being locked. All right, so check it side to side, front to back, it is moving less than one inch. So this seatbelt is installed baseless. Again, this can be put back up in this position. Um, I just want you to be able to see my how I rooted it through. Um, make sure you're still level. For baseless install, I would recommend having the baby in the seat already because it would be very difficult to now route them through underneath that to put them in. Um, for um, an in-base install where you just click the seat and you don't necessarily have to have the baby in the seat already. All right, and to get it out, you just unbuckle. All right, and this is the Graco Snug Ride Snug Lock 35. Um, this is an LX version but there is a non-LX version that has some minor, minor dis differences. Make sure you check my review video. I talk about them. And the True Shield the, um, version, which has some minor differences as well. Um, and then um, this was the install video. Uh, make sure you check out my uh, Instagram for a mini review um, on this seat and on reviews on many other seats. And check out my whole YouTube channel at the Car Safe Kids, both YouTube and Instagram, um, for more information on car seats.